Hello everyone, welcome back to Force Galaxy. Hope you are doing good. So this is for the one who are new to my channel. Let me introduce myself. My name is Kanika Chauhan and I am the Salesforce developer and the consultant. And on this channel, you will get the videos on the Salesforce development admin and the interview questions regarding the Salesforce. So you can check out the channel and let's start with today's video. So this is the fourth video on the Salesforce integration and today we will going to discuss about the put method in the integration. So here put method whenever the X we will get the request using the put method it will be going to act as an absurd call in our Salesforce like if the record is already present in the Salesforce then it will going to update the record else it will not going to update it will going to insert a record so this will happen on the basis of record id so if it find the id then it will make a update and if not it will going to insert a record so this is similar like a absurd we do in our salesforce so now let's move to our screen and see how this works so here this is my class with url mapping get test account so this is the same class which we are using and the methods get and post are discussed earlier and if you didn't check out yet you can go and check the previous videos so today we will going to discuss this http put method so the function name is here put function for account and you can see i am using the way that is uh, mapping the parameters so whenever the request came and the json body came it will match with the parameters and accordingly set the data so we have another way is to deserialize the json request so for now we are using the parameter way okay now in the next line as you can see here rest request rest context dot request so this is predefined class and this is used to get the request so whenever the request came it will be stored in this instance req here as you can see i have used the absurd function dml so in the put I have, as i have told you earlier so the put is to update and insert the record so at the end we need to use the absurd function here in the put request so let come to the workbench so here as you can see I have selected the put function and the next is to give the endpoint where it will call or it will match the URL and find the class with same URL mapping so this is rest uh, get test account and here is the JSON body which I have used in which name type and rating is passed for the account so now uh, let's test this so here is my account we will going to test this account so for now it is already inserted and I am using this ID for this record and using this ID we will going to execute this and see what will happen so here in this class whenever we make a put function request from the workbench it will going to find this function and all the parameters will be uh, mapped according to the json body so here the rest request will get the request and this from this request we will get the uri request uri from which we will extract the id that is the record id from this url and after getting the record id our next step is to update the account so first we will check here whether uh, it has find the id or not if yes we will assign the id to this account variable and uh, next also we will map all the parameters with the account fields like the account name the parameter account name with the name then the next account type with the type and the rating with the rating and at the end we will call the absurd or we will make the absurd dml so and we will return the complete object which is inserted or updated so at response we will get the uh, all these four parameter values with the id so now let's try this so here this is the account object on which we were going to make call currently no type is here and the rating is hot and in the json the rating let's change to the warm and the type we will going to give here will be the other 
so hit execute and in response you will see it has returned the id and the all the fields name which we used in this code so here let's uh, go to this id which is uh, in the response and check there let me refresh this and here as you can see the rating is changed from hot to warm and the type from null to other so as it has find the id in the from the endpoint so it according to the method it has updated the record with the new values which we have passed in the json so the next we will test without uh, passing any id we will see whether it will insert uh, the record or not I have also changed the name that is account test to now execute so again it has uh, given me the response and the id is here with the values which we have uh, set so let's check the id so again here as you can see this time as it did not found any id in the endpoint so as per the absurd call it has inserted the new record in the salesforce for this object so this is how the put method will going to behave like a absurd in the salesforce if it found the id then it will going to update and if not it will going to insert the record so now let's test what if i uh, remove any one of the parameter from the json so what will happen to the values in the salesforce for the fields so if i remove the type from here and execute with existing id or existing record so here in this record as you can see type is other and the rating is warm currently so we will going to update this record only so i have pasted the id here and from the json a type is removed and let's e execute this so here in the response what you will see the type value is set to null and the other values are mapped according to the json value so here if i refresh this so it is blank now so yeah so here if you want to avoid this so you can put the null checks in your uh, logic so if the value is not there for the variable or it did not find any json variable there for this to match with the field so you can avoid this to be updated so if uh, I have put the null check there and the type value is set here now again execute the same so here now in the response also you will see it is uh, did not include the type because uh, it did not enter because the condition is not satisfied because of the null check so it will not going to modify or change the value for the type if in the JSON value is not there so this is how you can uh, avoid this or it depend completely depend upon your low, uh, requirement do you want to retain the earlier value or do you want to update it with the nulls also so this is how we can use the put method in the salesforce so if the put request is sent from the external service so it will going to behave like a absurd in the salesforce and going to modify in uh, update and insert the record Hope you guys enjoyed the video and in the upcoming video we will discuss about the patch and the delete method. So till then take care. Goodbye.